Hello internet, welcome to GED. Today we got some beautiful butter chicken curry with rice and we're talking about the new WoW races. So guys, guys, wow. Um, all right, check out this beautiful butter chicken curry I made. Got some chicken in there, some eggplant, some basmati rice. Uh, there's a little bit of um, cabbage in there, although you can't really see it at all. And uh, let me just grab a piece here. I don't know if we can focus on that, but check that chicken and rice out. Super hot because I just finished it up. But man, it is amazing. You can see the uh, the white meat of the chicken in there. Kind of re reverse that spoon. Let, let's try it. We'll see how hot it is. Woo! One second here. Ooh, that was super, super hot. I just had to fix the plate a little bit. All right, so guys, the uh, the new WoW races. Man, what are we gonna do? I'm letting this cool down. Uh, what are we gonna do with all these races in WoW? Like six of them? That. Uh, they're breaking the game again. They're making races that have obvious advantages in PvP or PvE and they're encouraging people to farm up these races and play them and compared to the normal races they have so many more better talents like the Tauren can charge, the Void Elves can charge they get damage bonuses, resistance bonuses, they're really good God, Blizzard, what are you doing? What are you doing? If they do this, they really, really have to uh, adjust the other races to be more in line with what the the six new races are getting. One more second, I just gotta adjust this plate here. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Wow. That uh, that curry is super, super good. Super fantastic. Chunks of tomato in there, too, with that rice. The, um, the butter chicken flavor really comes out, but it's also spicy at the same time. Oh, yeah. How do you guys feel about these new races? Like, most of them have been revealed, except for the Zandalari trolls. And a lot of them just have these amazing abilities, guys. Like, Dark Iron Dwarves can purge buffs, or sorry, purge debuffs off themselves, and then gain their primary stat for like almost 10 seconds. That's, that's pretty dang good when you're fighting like a Shadow Priest or a Warlock or... A druid, even? I don't know. It just kind of... Even though they're not super, super impactful to the game, it is encouraging players to play the new races, you know? Why would I want to play a gnome or a dwarf with crappy racials when you can play an amazing void elf that has damage, magic, magical damage added onto their stuff? They can teleport, they can summon a portal, they can do all this crap. It's ridiculous. It's basically favoritism in the extreme. A lot of games tend to do this too. Like, for example, when League of Legends releases a new character, um, they'll either overpower them extremely or give 
crazy incentives to play them, like skins or whatnot. There's some of that cabbage. It just kind of riles me up when you see stuff like that. Games encouraging you to buy something or play something by giving it obvious advantages or obvious disadvantages in some cases. None of the new races, to my knowledge, can play a Death Knight. So, I mean, I won't even be playing the new races in the expansion just because they don't have the class I want to play. So there's that. And, wow, check that out. Beautiful, huh? And guys, I did... I did mention this, but... I cooked this beautiful dish myself because, hey... Cooking is fun, and you save a lot of money. It's way more healthier. And really, this dish is not that hard to make. If you want to know how to make it, just let me know in the comments. But seriously, what's your favorite type of uh, Indian dish? Well, I should have had naan bread with this, but I can't cook naan. I'm not that skilled. I could have bought some at the store, but hey, you know, rice is sufficient. Let me know what kind of... Uh, curry dish or Indian dish you really love because man Indian food is amazing I am rapidly running out of rice that's okay though Here's a piece of that eggplant. I know it's all covered in the sauce, but that is eggplant. Ooh. Drop it in the bowl, not the table. <clears throat> Huge chunk of eggplant. Super tender. And that spice is definitely building up. So yeah, back to the um, the racial thing. <laughs> the racial thing. <clears throat> it really feels like pay to win to me. Even though technically it's not. Because once you have the expansion, all the classes are open to you. Everyone's free to build up their rep and grind those classes and get them. Sorry, races, not classes. So really it's an equal playing field. But it's really not. Because the people that get those uh, races, they really do get certain advantages that other players don't have. It's kind of a reward, yes, but at the same time, they're grossly overtuned, or some of them are. High, mount, High Mountain Torin having a free stun in PvP could be monumentally good. And of course, Void Elves having a teleport is just freaking broken. Imagine how hard it's going to be to kill a Void Elf Mage or a Void Elf Rogue that can get a free teleport on top of their CC immunities, their already massive amounts of teleports for a mage, and oh, it's going to be a headache.
let's wrap up this chicken curry. Alright, well, guys, let me know how you feel about this topic. Remember to game, eat, and discuss, and I will catch you next time.